going to talk about the election to end all elections. And it really might be if Donald Trump makes things easier next time by getting rid of all that annoying voting. Hindsight is 2020, and boy have we been looking at a big hind end. I did a video a couple years ago about the election then, which ended up not really mattering. And I was backing the right horse, but it turned out America is actually going to the dogs. I guess we'll talk about Joe Biden first and get the boring stuff out of the way. Joe Biden is from Scranton, which is where Dunder Mifflin is. So technically, he's a dunderhead. And he's kind of loopy, so he's very ready to just make the office an oval. Joe Biden is really qualified because he spent a lot of time being vice president and learning about all the vices a president should have. I guess you could say he's been Biden his time. Joe Biden helped make a crime bill in the 90s, which led to the crime of Bill Clinton, which really screwed with internal affairs. Joe Biden helped his son Hunter do nepotism, which means people find out about your scandal, and then you nep it in the bud. Biden likes riots because he's reading Chump the Riot Act. Sometimes Donald Chump does a really smart thing of calling him Sleepy Joe Biden because he's been running so many times for president that he must be pretty tired by now. There's lots of other scandals with Joe Biden I could talk about if I need a hill to die on. But now for the main course. Donald Chump has pretty much done all of his goals. So why does he need to keep being president? For instance, he said he would build a wall. And there hasn't been as big of a division in the United States since the tectonic plates under Hawaii started moving against each other a billion zillion years ago. And also when people clashed about Clay Aiken versus Reuben Stuttered. Speaking of stuttered, Joe Biden is really nice to help us understand things by saying them more than once. Also, Trump said that if he won, he'd make Mexico pay for it. And he did even better because actually the whole world is paying for it. Trump said we'd win so much we'd get tired of winning. And he was right. It's just that he has a different way to pronounce whining. Trump said he'd make the national debt smaller. And he did because now it's tiny in comparison to our other problems. Trump said he'd get rid of all the immigrants, which he's doing in a very cagey way. Trump said he'd bring back jobs from China. And he did not just that, but he even brought back something else that people went batty for. Yo, the name is Betty. My logic is erratic. And that's why Trump won't wear a mask. Because then we find out he's the reason China sent the bat signal. With great power comes great corruptibility. Trump also said he'd get rid of Obamacare. Or as it's really called, full bummer scare. La bomba chair. A bumble bear. Bonnie bear. And replace it with something better. And that something is raccoonavirus. Which is something that happened in the last while. Or maybe you didn't know. Raccoonavirus is where you pretend to be sick so you don't have to go anywhere or sometimes even live the rest of your life. It's all a big conspiracy, because if there really was a big problem, then the government would be doing a lot to help. And anyway, things only go viral on the internet nowadays. Like the chipmunk who looks at you dramatically because you snuck up on his video, and the one where a guy is crying because there's two rainbows, and not any pots of gold. And the one with Diet Coke and Mentos, which is a thought-provoking analysis of the Democrats and the Republicans. And of course, my videos. Ain't nobody not got time for that. Trump said he'd save Medicare and Social Security. And he's doing it because they'll have plenty of money in them when there's no more old people. Trump said he'd never take a vacation. And he kept his word because playing golf is actually the most important thing a president does. Because every time Trump gets an eagle, it makes there be more patriotism in America. And it shows him how to take a mulligan on his whole presidency. And because when Trump yells, four... He's making sure everyone knows how many total years he's going to be president. Chump said he'd bring back waterboarding, which he's doing by drowning us in the news every day. Chump said he'd oppose killing journalists, which he's doing by opposing even the idea that it's happening and his fans are trying to do it. When you've got the world's best brain, you don't need anyone to kashagi your memory. Chump's really smart to take apart the post office, because it helps him see what it's going to be like when he's post office. Chump really hates Vladimir Putin. He hates him so much that he doesn't even want anyone to know about any times they had meetings or hear any phone calls. Russia, Russia, Russia. I feel like I'm up to my earballs in Russia. We should just be friends with them. We have so many things in common. We both made our national bird the eagle. We both have a lot of bombs. And we're both run by Vladimir Putin. The first debate is coming up pretty soon. It's going to be run by Fox News, so I'm expecting the questions to be crazy like a fox. Like they might ask Biden... If you'd be such a great president, then why are you always just sitting on the Amtrak train to work and not driving it? And they might ask Chump, 
how are you going to lower carbon emissions by using less air conditioning when even your administration has a revolving door? Everyone was really impressed when Chump went and held a Bible in public and didn't even get struck by lightning. On the way there, he even used chemicals to help people cry so they could really feel their emotions about Chump going to church. Right now, even Democrat California is totally on fire for Chump. All he had to do was say, you're fired and they got the hots for him. Even along the whole west coast, the idea of keeping America great is spreading like wildfire. Chump promised he'd make America great again, and he even surprised us by making it a sewer great. We've never been more grating than right now. And now it's time for my stump speech. Prince morons, countrymen, lend me your rears. I come to Raspberry the diseaser, not to blaze him. Okay, now you cheer. Wait, I'm not done yet! I have a dream that one day my president will be judged not by the content of his character, but by the color of his skinheads. Ask not what your president can do for you, because the ship has pretty much already sailed on that one. Give me liberals or give me debt. The only thing we have to fear is the Fuhrer himself. And that's all I have to say about that! You know, little... Don't forget to like this video and comment on it and follow me on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and send me money. This is a test of the emergency Fred system. In the event of a real Fred, you'd be laughing all over yourself. Stumpy, numpy.